hey guys here's a quick video for you guys because i got requested to make one of these tutus a while ago um and it's the pom-pom tutu it is so easy it is so fast so um it is a really short video i did um use 10 yards for this tutu just because it will have the pom-poms and it will have the extra tool at the bottom of it sticking out so that gives it a lot of volume um, so I did 10 yards instead of the usual 12 yards and I did cut this at 12 inches um, I'm sorry 14 inches not 12 because there is no ribbon to add any length to it so I did do 14 inches and I did put the chart right there um, so 14 inches that will give you a 7 inch tutu and of course you need that folded part for this tutu usually if it's not even i go ahead and cut that part but for this tutu you need that folded part so after i did that one side is open one side is folded and again you will need that folded part because in that channel of the folded part is where i am going to stick the little pom-poms so this part is very just self-explanatory just like the other tutus you go ahead and do your channel i am doing it at uh three fourths the same width of my elastic and yeah pretty much just go ahead and do your channel all the way through So after that, I go ahead and place all of my 10 yards on the table, kind of fix them up and make sure that my folded side is up because that is the part where we're going to stick all the pom-poms. So there you go. And these pom-poms, I think I got them off of Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I bought them for something else and I never used them. And then when I got the request, if I had ever done a pom-pom, tutu i remembered i had those pom-poms so yeah those are from hobby lobby i'm distributing the pom-poms as best as i possibly can i think i could have added more pom-poms but i only had one small bag so i did the best i could to distribute them as best as possible um <clears throat> i can always add some more because that part will always be open even after you finish the tutu and sew the elastic you will have that part open always you can close it if you want i doubt that the pom-poms will fall out um the static of the tutu keeps it keeps them intact um and won't allow them to fall out or anything like that so they're well secured in there and so right here i'm just feeding my elastic through the channel and you can see how it's coming along um i did end up distributing the pom-poms a little better after i had stitched the elastic so here is the finished tutu i hope you guys enjoyed it it's a quick video i know but um i hope i help someone out there somehow so i'm gonna go ahead and make a shirt for um this tutu here's the shirt i'm gonna use this one and yeah let's go ahead and do that so that i can go ahead and upload to my etsy page voy a hacerle una camisa para que vaya con el tutu nada más que no hay yo que vinil usar i can't decide on a vinyl like this doesn't really match that pink so I'm looking through all of my vinyl, trying to figure out what would match best. I'm thinking purple because I don't know. I'm just going to do something simple like that, a number one with the name across it. But if it's so dark, then you can't see the name very well. So, I don't know.
so I ended up changing the shirt, cambié la camisa, because the other one was very like, not like true white. La otra no estaba tan blanca, and I didn't, I didn't want the tutu to be like super white, and then the shirt not be like not match the white, you know. So um, I do have a link in the description for the shirts I use. I have links for the tool, and um, I'll put a link for the font, and I have links for the embroidery machines as well as my printer. Tengo links en la descripción para las camisas que uso, el tool. Y las máquinas bordadoras, también mi impresora. Um, and yeah, that's it. Super quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Nos veo en el otro video.